Good evening, thanks for joining us for the news at 8. Today is the 24th day in the month of June 2021. I am very stoked to make a chief of headlines. Government passes recent award manifestation of good performance in security, says Commissioner. Over in security, we are in pain, says Neto Kalu. Trigger happy peace officer attached to local companies to five in energy. Over black emancipation, MBN commends Joe Biden for making June 19th public holiday in the US. Over black hour, why evil will be the biggest loser if Nigeria breaks up operator one. Preston worry black specialist agitators in six Nigeria must remain one. Wari must go protesters block Abuja Airport Road. 2021 revenue dropped to 5.8 billion naira because we made me mandatory, says Jam. Again, UAE places ban on Nigerian flights. While in sport, over Euro 2020, Dambele ruled out of tournaments with injury. We take commercials. We'll be right back with the new station. <laughs> Welcome back. Now the details. Abia State Commissioner for Information Chief John Oki Karu has stated that the recent recognition of the state governor, Dr. Okezi Bazu, as one of the outstanding governors in terms of security is an indication of his giant strides in the sector. The commissioner says Abia is in the top five most secure states in the country on the account of deliberate actions of the state government. The Chief Whip of the Senate, Senator Oji Uzokalu, has decried the high rate of insecurity in Nigeria, saying the country is in pains. According to the Abia North Senator, the country is at the moment passing through challenges as a result of spite of killings and adoptions going on in various parts. He noted that it requires the collective efforts of everyone and a united Nigeria to solve the problems currently leveling the nation. A trigger happy policeman attached to RC Lotto Company at Gulf Estate, GRA Lugo Motor Police, on Sunday evening shot five persons to death. The incident, which left Governor Ifani terribly shocked, also saw four others hospitalized. It was gathered that the police inspector attached to Special Protection Unit, SPU Base 9, Omayabia State, started shooting sporadically, leaving five persons dead and four persons with gunshot injuries. The new Black Movement of Africa Worldwide, NBM, has elegized President Joe Biden of the United States of America, USA, for the recognition accorded Black Emancipation. The subsequent signing into law the bill to make June 19th the 12th, the 12th federal holiday in the United States. NBM said that the African Americans and Africans all over the world are rejoicing after the U.S. President Joe Biden made June Dent a federal holiday. Former Imo State Governor and Senator representing Imo West District, Rocha Sokorata, has cushioned the Southeast over its agitations for Nigeria's breakup. Okorata warned that evils would be the worst hit if Nigeria breaks up. The former Imo State Governor spoke in Abuja while addressing some women group yesterday. President Mahmoud Ubari has condemned those agitating for the separation of the country, insisting that Nigeria must remain one, united and ind indivisible under his stewardship. He stressed this in a message at the launch of Kudurat Abiola Sabongari Peace Foundation held in Zaria. The president said those agitating for sessions and separation of the country are either ignorant of history of the civil war. Some youths have stormed the street of Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja, in the early hours of Monday to protest against the administration of President Mahmoud Bari. The protesters said that the rally tagged Bari must go protest will be a morning devotion for the next few days. The Joint Admissions and Matriculations Board has attributed the drop in the revenue generated from the sale of forms for the 2021 Unified Tertiary and Matriculations Examinations and the Direct Entry Examinations to the introduction of the National Identification Number required into the registration process. 
It said that the new requirements made it impossible for some prospective candidates to register, leading to the reduction in number of registered candidates and the proceeds generated from sales of forms. The United Arab Emirates UAE has gained an has again announced indefinite suspension of flights from Nigeria to Dubai. This is coming barely 48 hours after the UAE announced that it has finally lifted the ban on travels between Dubai and Nigeria. While on sport, Osmani Dambele has left France Euro 2020 squad after suffering an injury in a one to one draw with Hungary. France had only brought on Dambele as a substitute earlier in the second half before he was struck down with a new issue. And Dambele was sent home from the squad on Monday after being ruled out for the remind, remainder of the tournament. This will bring us to the end of the news at 8. Before we go, recap our major headlines. Governor Fazus recent award manifestations of good performance in security, says Commissioner. Over black emancipation, NBN commends Joe Biden for making June 19th public holiday in U.S. Again, UAE places ban on Nigerian flights. These are many more different platforms. Just log on to www.abntv.com.ng. And you can also follow us on our social media platforms being displayed on your screen. I am Grace Dockers, and you can check out my dress. Stay safe.